Welcome everyone to the greatest thing about September, being out here with my family at the flea market. We're gonna be hunting for some things, including Sensi's. And Transformers. And Transformers and Lego. Lego things over here. Oh, we got some Lego? Oh, okay. Yeah, it probably is. With all the stuff in it. Minifigs. Oh, Lego racers for six bucks. Yeah, I don't really need that in my life, but it's promising knowing there's some Lego here. Any priceless minifigs? Someone will see this and be like, oh, you totally missed all those amazing ones that you should have totally bought. It happens to me all the time. Man, lots of little Hagrids in here, actually. Hagrid. Hmm. Oh. The night bus, Clark, man. Yeah, I know, I saw that. 20 for the night bus. Hmm. More mini figs. Look at this. What do you got? Oh, shucks. Oh, shucks, found a goofy. I see some more Lego over here. Lego. Are these bionicles? Yeah, they are. Is there? I like that. This, tray this is eighty dollars for this. We might stop back at this one here. Yeah, we're stopping back at this. Okay, good spotting, babe. You're doing a. You are. I, you're good. <laughs> She's finding the Lego. It's popping out at her. This place is awesome. Yeah, they got the hundred dollar Michelangelo over here. They got the Stormtrooper, Darth Vader. We've got some Lego here. They have this pretty much every year here. $18 for that. $18. They got a zombie. Sam? That's Sam. Yeah. Random bags. Random bags of cool Legos. I got so much though. I really don't need it. I really don't. It's too much. Not for price, but just too much I have that I have to go through. What do we have here? This is rough. $20. Hey, bubs. Found some Lego stuff here. We got dots and a set we already have. Which, uh, the price is not, not great. Clark and I are in a little trouble right now because we're on the last line. This is, this is pretty much the end of it and we haven't found any scores yet. Mom's been finding all kinds of stuff and my backpack is full to prove that. <laughs> but uh, yeah. Don't we're... forget, on our way out, on the very bottom over that way, there's stuff that we haven't seen. Okay, we'll see. We totally missed this place somehow. Pretty sure I bought Lego here last year. This is I suspected. Honestly, don't know. We well, have there. no idea. You didn't go through them and say, okay. I gotta put this down for just a moment. I've had people, and I have a whole bag of that. I can give you as many packets as you want. This other one, like, say, she has 15, which would come, I'm sorry, she has 15, she has 15, she has 15 comes to 45. 45. Yeah. So, 40. Let's see if I can show this off here. I ended up spending $10 and I got this complete, supposedly. Not, I have the pieces for it. I got this bunch of orange pieces. You can never have too much orange. And last but not least, if I can get it out here, there's some non-Lego in here, but I got a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. This looked like the most interesting bag to me in terms of pieces and stuff. Um, even though, again, there is some non-Lego in there. I just thought, yeah, why not? For three for 10, I had to. Especially considering this is like the last stop of the day. I want to leave with some. As you can probably tell from the vlog there, not the greatest day for me at the flea market. I've definitely had more success there in previous years than we've gone, but I always kind of come home when I edit this footage and I look back and think, what would I have done differently? Sometimes I'll see things in the video and I'll be like, ah, why didn't I buy that? In this case, I was looking through those minifigs as I was editing and I was thinking that maybe I should have put together uh, an offer 
for the person, maybe like $1 per minifig and maybe tried including all the accessories in there just to see what they all had and what that would have ran me. Definitely wasn't biting at $3 a piece. And that was the same place that had the night bus that was $20. It was incomplete. I don't have any regrets on that. The Bionicle pieces, definitely don't mind leaving those there because I have an entire bin of Bionicle that I bought years ago for $5 that I still haven't gotten into. And that kind of takes me to like the, the moral of the story here at the flea market this year. And it's that I have so much stuff that I, from a, a space perspective and just like a mental perspective, I can't be taking on any more of this stuff. Like $18 for those very full bags of minifigs, that's a pretty good buy if you're just building up a collection, but I have so much already and stuff that needs organized. But nonetheless, at the very end of the day, I, I didn't want to leave empty handed. So I ended up spending $10 on three bags of miscellaneous Lego parts. And that's what I have here. So I thought in this video, or a continuation of a video that was actually a Greg's World vlog from before, I thought I'd get into all this stuff and show you what I got in here. And you can tell me whether it's a good deal or not at $10. It's actually kind of funny, this conversation that we're having, because I always tell you guys, you can never have too much Lego. And that's true in most cases until you start getting stressed out by the amount of Lego that you have, and it's starting to be a burden on you. But the first thing I got was this complete 7741. We'll just call it Lego City Police Helicopter. Probably the only one that they've ever made. That's why it's so rare. Uh, but this was, what, $3.33? And it says complete, which I'll dump this out here and we'll, we'll see. I did see the minifig in there. And I instantly thought, you know, this is a good buy to, to grab for this, just to have the complete set and have it in the collection. Plus, Clark Man might enjoy playing with this. So that was my first thing that I got. And pieces look like they are... Look like they're pretty clean. Like I don't feel like I need to like scrub this or wash it or anything like that. And I think that was pretty nice, especially with the with the manual. Uh, not bad, complete. So we'll uh, kind of put that off to the side here for right now, and I'll show you the the second thing that I got, which was this. This was labeled four dollars. Again, he has a deal. This guy that I shop from here fantastic dude like I really like him he always has a bunch of toys and a bunch of Lego and stuff like that and somehow we, we almost missed him this year but right here this four dollar container is full of a bunch of orange pieces he had other colors there uh, but he didn't have all the colors so I'm thinking that somebody came along and bought a bunch of them we again got there pretty late in the day which was disappointing because I probably would have cleared them out earlier in the day but these are all the orange pieces this is kind of what I saw when I came up on it and I thought man for for less than four bucks on that why not? So let's dump that out here. Hey, we got a, we got a raft. This is obviously from like a, one of the Arctic sets or, well, you can look up the, the set number there. City. This looks a little off. The coloring on this. What is the deal? This is Lego, right? Yeah, that's Lego. The coloring on that one versus the other ones. I don't know if you can tell. Probably would help if I actually had you in the shot here. A little bit lighter, but uh, we got a minifig head in here. Do we have an actual full body? We don't, they just have a head in here, but that's okay. That was, uh, again, that was $3.33. We do have a truck, like a truck stack here. And, uh, oh, a broken piece of Lego chicken wing. Just want a closer look, cause we're kinda, as this slides over in here, kinda just showing off the things we got. So you probably wanna see it. And I'll ask you the question, would you paid $3 and some change for these pieces? Nothing too remarkable in here that I can tell. I mean, it's it's mostly just slopes and bricks and plates and things like that. Stuff you could probably build a boat out of here. Maybe like a little uh, like a little uh, snowmobile, I guess. This is kind of a part of it, maybe. You could piece that together. So that's what I got there. But the, the one I'm most interested in as I run out of space here is what's in this bag here. And this one's the scary one because it is full of some non-Lego pieces as well. And I don't know, I was looking for like one more thing to get. I saw this and I saw that and I was like, okay, let me pick out what I thought was the most interesting bag. And you're kind of just standing there looking through them like this. And this one to me, uh, it, it caught my attention. So I thought I would thought I would snag it. And for the, for the cost, compared to the $18 bag, like you think about this, like it's probably like maybe two or three of these for the $18 bags that we saw. This was, this. you could get three of those for $10 from this guy. So this is the guy to buy from. Plus he had Thomas, he had, all kinds of action figures and stuff. Love the dude. Like if I was to have a flea market spot, I think this would probably be what mine looks like. Although I, I would have a hard time selling this. I'd be like, no, I need that for the collection. But we'll open this up and we'll take a gander at what's in here. And this is where my regrets start coming in a little bit. One, because pieces are flying everywhere. But 
too because I'm gonna have to go through this, filter out the non-Lego, drop pieces on the floor, and then I have to sort this out and then put it in my collection. So again, sometimes when you get stuff like this, it actually becomes a little bit of a burden, you know? And I know that's like total first world problems, like to be complaining about getting Lego or in this case, non-Lego pieces and being like, oh man, now I got to deal with this. I mean, it's, it's true. And I know if, if you're out there and you have a pretty big Lego collection and you, you get stuff like this and you come across this, this is like, oh my gosh, I, now I have to like get this all filtered and and put it away but some people like that like that's that's fun but for me man i have just i have so much that i want to do and that's kind of just like a it's like an administrative task or like a clerical thing that like you, you just don't want to have to do that you want to do like the, the, the big thing or the next thing but you know we got some pieces here let's see what we got we got oh gosh let's start getting the non-lego looks like it might have been like a military set or one of those halo sets from mega constructs or mega blocks because i see some of that in here it's easy to kind of get that out initially. And then sometimes it gets a little tricky because then you start looking at pieces. Oh, there's a whole lot of that in here. You start looking at pieces that look like they're Lego and then they're not. I mean, Lego, that's that would be a cool Lego piece right there, but it's not. And I saw that in here when I bought it. It wasn't like a surprise or anything. And I should have probably, what is that? Should have probably, anybody see that in Lego? Should I probably passed on this? Should have just went home with nothing, but I wanted to grab something there. Hey, we got a uh, robot from Star Wars, at least part of them. I definitely have the other parts so we could piece them together. Got a jail door. We got, what is this? That's Lego. I don't have that in my collection. Mrs. Brickitect, if you're watching this, I know you're not. Oh, look at that. What are these? I don't even know what that is. You might be able to see it better than I can. Oh, it's Connects connects take all the little guns and stuff out of here anyways there's a there's a bunch here i think what i'm gonna do this might actually be kind of fun i might do a little live stream right now because i was going to build this up just to see if it is complete and i might filter through all this stuff and it might be kind of neat just to chat with everybody while i'm doing that since i'm doing it anyway i might as well so i'll uh i guess we'll do that and i'll come back with you guys and i'll show you all the goods it's about an hour later and as you can see i just finished up my stream and got through all my stuff and I thought I'd share it with you. Let's start where the stream started with this complete, supposedly set 7741 police helicopter. Actually, the name of it, I looked it up on the stream. It was mostly complete, not 100%. There was three pieces missing, including two uh, gray plates that are down there at the bottom, right above the, the landing gear type stuff. And uh, one of these was missing. So not too bad. Three pieces, had the minifig, had everything else. And... A bunch of extra pieces as well so I'm not complaining about that at all especially for three dollars this set came out in 2008 and sold for ten dollars so 13 years retired and I got it for one third of the price I think that's pretty darn good next thing was this went through all of the Lego and non Lego pieces this is probably I guess more interesting this is all the non Lego stuff that came out of here including some pieces that hurts my soul to say this that were uh, glued together these are glued and you know, we, I don't know what kind of monster owned these, but not only glues pieces together, but he also chews on lightsabers and uh, also collects connects and puts everything together in a in a bin together. So I, he's violated every rule of Lego collecting as far as I'm concerned. And I told the chat I was happy that this stuff went to a, a better home, at least in my opinion. But here's all of the Lego stuff. If you see any non-Lego, you let me know because it's it might be in there. But we got a nice little uh, little stash here for three dollars and some change and this stuff as you saw earlier this is all lego so that's pretty darn cool for 10 bucks this is kind of what i came away with obviously stuff that i absolutely needed to have in my collection that i couldn't live without <laughs> said no one ever but it's here and that was fun going through it i had a great time with the with the chat and stuff and yeah just i'm just super happy right now i love finding lego treasures when i can find them whether this is a treasure or not I'll leave that up to you to decide, but it was it was a good time and I have no regrets other than not making some type of deal on all those minifigs, but you know, live and you'll learn. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a glorious rest of your day and we'll see you in the next flea market haul video. Sugar of the shack. I forgot to show you guys the best part of the stream and that was my mock that I made. Found this D2 head in there and I turned him into Professor Xavier and then uh, just kept going with it and things got a little out of hand, but uh, that's what I made and I thought maybe I'd embarrass myself further by showing it here. If you're still here and you made it to the end of the video, type D2 into the chat. No one will know what you mean. It's going to be like two people.